always knew I wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> it was something I knew from a young age. And I discovered this field my second year of med school. Then once I started learning the patient population, that really brought me in. There is definitely a mental process that women have to go through with this. It's not all physical. And so helping women cope with the different steps, the stress related, how to fit it into their normal lives and manage family and work and everything that goes around it, it's an endeavor and sometimes a very long one, and helping them navigate through it I see as an important part of my job on a daily basis. So I have a five-year-old daughter and a now two-year-old son. They're amazing, and uh, they kind of give me that drive every day when I interact with patients. I remember back to how happy when I found out I was pregnant, being pregnant, having them you know, made me, and I want that for my patients. I want them to feel those same connections. I try and make my relationship with my patients as easygoing as possible. You know, trying to make it discussions, not necessarily me telling patients what to do, but listening to what they want to do, what their goals and their priorities are, and making this process what they want it to be. And we find the process that works for them while keeping in mind what I think is clinically best for their goals. And we find a mutual path that's gonna get them to what they want. Come to this clinic, give it a chance to see what care is like when you're an individual that you're not part of a system where you're a number. Standard treatment is not the, the norm here. It is an individualized treatment, and it is focused on the person, the person's goals, and where they, they need to be going next. And so I think that that is something that may set us apart and be what a patient truly needs.